Hi, thanks for watching Sibelius Tutorials. This video continues our series on sound sets in Sibelius. We are going to explain how to create manual sound sets based off the sound sets from soundsetproject.com. Here, we are going to be using East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra sound set. What I want to do is create a score using the East West Quantum Leap sounds. And to do this, I'm going to need to create a custom playback configuration and a manual sound set. Here, we have a blank score from our quick start. Let's single click it so that we can choose our house style and instruments. I'm going to select our East West Quantum Leap house style that came with our sound set. The house style allows us to choose the East West Quantum Leap custom staves as instruments needed in our next step. For this example, I'm going to choose an instrument from each family. For woodwinds, solo flute. For brass, solo trumpet and B flat. For percussion, large snare drum ensemble, and for strings, solo violin. Click Change Instruments, and in the next window, make sure where it just says Choose From that it is set to the correct ensemble that corresponds with your sound set, in this case, East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra. Now, choose the instruments you want. Once these instruments are chosen, Click OK and create the score. Next, we need to create a manual sound set for the instruments that we picked. Click on Play and go to Playback Devices. In here, let's click New Playback Configuration. Name this however you would like it to be recognized. I am naming this Manual Sound Set Example. Once this configuration is created, deactivate any active devices as shown here to start off with a clean slate. Once these are deactivated, let's add our play instance. Make sure that the sound set is set to the correct sound set with your library. Under the Manual Sound Sets tab, this is where we start building our sound set for this playback configuration. First, make sure that the manual sound set is checked. Remember, for this example, I picked solo flute, solo trumpet, large snare drum, and solo violin. To keep things organized, let's stay in that order. And uh, real quick, uh, this list can be overwhelming, so let's break it down. For this sound set at the top, we have all of our programs for woodwinds. We have our flutes, our oboes, our English horns, our clarinets and bassoons. And this list then goes into brass, and then percussion, and then strings. So for program one, choose solo flute. For us to understand the program IDs, these match up with the instruments in your library. So solo flute with the key switches is called SFL KS Master. Choose this and click apply so that it registers over in the right column. For program two, we said solo trumpet. So scroll through the program name list, and this is STP KS Master. For program three, we said large snare drum. This is snare ensemble large. Let's choose it and click apply. For the last one of this tutorial, solo violin. For the program name dropdown for program four, choose SVLKS Master. Once you've finished configuring your manual sound sets, save the configuration. The last thing now that we need to do is load the East West Quantum Leap instruments in the play engine. Click on show to view the player, and let's now load the instruments to match our program list. A quick tip that I find useful, let's change the East West Quantum Leap settings to make things easier to assign our MIDI in order. Choose Settings, and choose the other tab. In here, make sure Automatic Increment is checked under MIDI Channel Assignment. Click Apply, and Close. 
Now, when we load instruments, it will assign them to the correct MIDI channel automatically. Now let's load our instruments. The first instrument was solo flute, so I'm going to go to woodwinds, solo flute, key switch, and choose SFL Chaos Master. Notice it matches the program names we loaded when creating our manual sound set. Let's go ahead and load the rest of our instruments. Once these sounds are loaded, let's save our playback configuration. Again, notice how all the programs match up with the sounds loaded in our Play Engine player. Let's test the programs to make sure that they are triggering the East-West Quantum Leap sounds. After testing these and getting sound, you should be all set with your manual sound set and score you created. You can close your playback devices and start writing into Sibelius playing back with the East-West Quantum Leap sounds. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. I hope that you found this video helpful if you use third-party libraries in Sibelius. Make sure to like and subscribe to receive updates when new Sibelius tutorials are released and to join the community we have started. I am Josh and I will see you guys next time.